to, in order to be really sure that we could uh, meet certain goals that we wanted to begin to set, I felt that we needed to have to be able to touch more of the different sites as a community board. And instead of being exclusive to the airport plant site, I felt we needed to, to talk to the other groups that were out there uh, and find out how we could uh, get more activity together. So we began to develop a uh, set of ideas uh, that the board itself, the CAB board, could uh, feel comfortable with to achieve the goals that they wanted. Uh, some of the goals I couldn't see because we're talking about several different things. We're talking about the TCE contamination, which happened at all these different Superfund sites that were around the airport area. And uh, each one of those involved TCE, but they also had very unique characteristics of their own that, that we had to worry about as a community. And uh, even within the board itself, the members that lived inside of Tucson, some, some of them lived closer to one of these sites than the other, and so their concerns were more there than they were at the Air Force plant site, for example. Uh, so we had a lot of communications about that. Uh, that's when uh, we were getting close to setting up some rules that we wanted to work within, and uh, we worked hard at trying to uh, uh, come to a consensus within the group on how we would do that. And uh, the EPA was uh, was working with us, and the Hughes Aircraft plant site was working with us. Uh, City Department of Water, uh, the Mayor's Department, uh, some of our congressmen, Raul Grijalva, he was involved in all of that from the very beginning. So we got to uh, know each other a little better, and we finally came to a point where we had to decide whether we were going to continue the way the cab had been running or whether we were going to move over to a new name. And during that period of time, we decided on the name of the UCAB, the Unified Community Act Advisory Board, uh, because now we were going to look at reaching out to each of these different Superfund sites and draw them under the umbrella of what became the UCAB. So that was our intention, and I believe we, we found that to be a, a very successful goal over time. Uh, and it became, it, I don't believe we could have been as successful if we hadn't done that. I was the chairman for the first two years, and in all of these years now, we've only had four chairmen. And that's powerful for the community to be able to say that. And uh, I get emotional when we talk about this. The community that kept going after I had to uh, stop being the chairman and, and I actually had to stop being involved in the group at that time after two years. Uh, the group that stayed on and persisted and has been so successful are the ones that really deserve all the accolades for this work. They've been very dedicated uh, and even their generations have gone on. Generations within family members have gone on in this group. The real reason for the board to exist was because the community did not have a say in how the, how the things were being run or if they had choices to make, if they could be part of the system that would allow them to put their inputs in and find choices on how they felt it should be best handled for any individual cleanup. And that's the biggest thing that this community group has been able to do is stay together and make that voice heard.